Hi Foodtube, I'm Bart of Bart's Fish Tales and welcome to Louisiana, the United States. I'm here in Slidell, which is a small town famous for blue crab. And with this blue crab, we're going to make a traditional seafood gumbo my way. So what's a gumbo? What's a seafood gumbo? It's a traditional dish, maybe the most traditional one in Louisiana. And it's based on the local cod, just here, seafood. And I've got here the cooked blue crab. I've got some shrimps here. So this gumbo I'm making right here is based on a recipe for six persons as a main course. We first start cutting the Holy Trinity. And what's the Holy Trinity? It's a local expression for a combination of, of green pepper. We're going to use some orange pepper too. Um, some celery and onion. So start cutting the onion. I'm cutting the onion into cubes, roughly. Not too little ones. Add this to a bowl. So now the green pepper, cut out the seeds. I'm going to cut it into cubes, same size as the onions. Add it to the bowl, use the orange one. Okay, so three washed celery sticks. Take out the veins. So I chop these approximately the same size as the, as the pepper and the onion. This is the Holy Trinity. And we add to the Holy Trinity two cloves of garlic, finely chopped. So we start making this world famous brown roux. So I add one cup of vegetable oil and the same amount of flour. And now, it's really important that you keep stirring until the color reaches in between peanut butter and chocolate. And it gives this nutty, nutty smell. And don't be in a hurry, guys. This might take 10, 15 minutes. This is the soul of a classic gumbo. So we are almost there. It reaches this dark brown color almost. And this is the time we add the Holy Trinity. Beautiful. And the garlic. Whoop. Wow, beautiful. And I give this a stir. I simmer this until the veggies have reached this softened texture. And this is the time I add like a liter of seafood stock. Okay, I give this a simmer on like 90 degrees Celsius and I start with the lid on. So the interesting thing is that gumbo derived uh, from the African name, the West African name for okra. Take off the and pieces and I chop it roughly in rings. So I've chopped the okra which will give a bit of a bite to the soup. It's a really nice, it has quite a neutral taste but it's really, it's fresh. Good, okay, take the lid off now. So this is the base for the soup and I'm going to add the okra. Now let it simmer, low to medium heat. And meanwhile I'm going to cut the tomatoes. So I roughly chop the tomato in cubes again. So I add this to the gumbo. So now it's time for the meat. I've got here an andouille uh, sausage. So I chunk it up. I take off the skin. And now it's time for the seafood heroes. In the first place, I have shrimp. And this is raw shrimp. What I'll do, I add them as a whole because the juice out of this head really gives extra flavor to the base, to the gumbo. Okay, so this is this true blue crab. It's not blue anymore because we have pre-cooked it. And we have emptied the crab, and we have here these beautiful pieces. And of course, uh, we are in Louisiana, so I hope you can find this crab. But if not, please feel free to use any other crab meat you can find, as long as it's sustainable cod. Okay, so I add like half of this with the gumbo. Beautiful white chunk of Louisiana blue crab. There we go. So now I've added the crab and now we make sure that all these beautiful flavors get properly infused. So I add the lid, have it on low temperature, on low heat, and I give it 30 minutes to cook. And now I'll take you to the lake where we caught this beautiful blue crab this morning. We here in front of the coast of New Orleans. This is Roy. He's pulling the buoy. And behind every buoy, you will find a pot. And that's the time Mitch is coming into action. And he's emptying the pot. 
And as soon as the pot is emptied by Mitch, he will fill it again with some fresh bait and throws it back at sea, hoping for more blue crab tomorrow. This is a fishery giving the right example. So why is this blue crab fishery here in Louisiana MSC certified and very sustainable? Well, in the first place, the crabs, the, the population of this, this species is really healthy. But then the way of catching this seafood is really selective. There is no bycatch and there is no damaging of the surface of the bottom. And this is a good example how to catch seafood for today and for future generations. So it has cooked now for simmered for 30 minutes. So now I'm going to add some chopped parsley. Bit of salt, I'm going to season it. Some pepper, black pepper. And the local stuff, some cayenne pepper. Just a small pinch. And the traditional gumbo goes with white rice. So I've pre-cooked some white rice, which I'm going to add now to the gumbo. Give it a stir. And now it's time to plate up. So I scoop a nice, beautiful portion, including some shrimps, into this soup plate. And now we'll add like claws. And I garnish it with a bit of extra parsley. There we go. Time for a taste. Wow, a bit of the soup. Make sure you have a bit of the sausage. Um. Mm. Wow, this is the true Louisiana taste. The texture is amazing, a bit of the spiciness. You taste all these beautiful veggies, including this okra. Um, and the seafood, the seafood is amazing. We have the shrimp and we have the local crab. Thank you for watching FoodTube and if you want to see more stunning seafood recipes please head over to my channel Bart's Fishtails where I travel, uh, fish and cook together with the most amazing fishing communities around the globe. Thank you for watching again. Uh, if you have any comments, any questions, leave them in the box down below and hope to see you soon. Bye bye!